In this video, we will transform another boring PowerPoint slide into a captivating dynamic sequence with the help of the morph transition. If you love shortcuts, grab free PowerPoint templates with variations on my blog. Check out the link in the description below. Now let's dive into PowerPoint and make it move. Here's our uninspiring original slide. Let's make a new slide. Now let's copy the title from the original to the new slide. Bring the title to the top of the slide and align the text to the center. Let's change the font from the default one to Poppins Extra Bold. It's a free Google font that you can download from fonts.google.com. Let's align the title to the center of the slide. Next, we will create three cards that will serve as backgrounds for our content. First, draw one rectangle and fill it with light gray. Now duplicate it. For that, hold Shift and Control and drag it. Align the duplicate to the center of the slide. You can do it effortlessly with PowerPoint Smart Guides. If you don't have them, right-click on the empty space, go to the Grid and Guides menu, and activate Smart Guides. Now duplicate the shape one more time. Use Smart Guides to ensure the even distribution of your shapes. It's time to bring in the content. Let's copy and paste the first section from the original slide. Let's deal with the description first. Align the text to the center. Tweak the width and position to ensure it perfectly aligns with the base. Now change the font to Poppins and make it a bit smaller. Now let's center align the header text and spice it up with Poppins Extra Bold. I'm going to shrink it down just a bit and align it with the body text. Let's move the content downward to make room for an icon. You can use custom icons, but I love the built-in PowerPoint library. You can find it on the Insert tab. Let's search for a castle. It will represent the setup phase in our three-act structure. Double-click on the icon to insert. Let's make it bigger and align to the content. Use a bright color to make it pop. Duplicate the content into the second section. Use Smart Guides for the perfect alignment. Duplicate the content one more time. To edit the content, copy and paste the text from the original slide. To maintain the text format, select the Keep Text Only option from the Paste menu. Repeat the process to update all the texts. By the way, did you know I've got an online course for Morph Enthusiasts? This is a super affordable crash course that covers everything from beginner steps to advanced moves. Check out the link in the description and join the movement today. To fine tune the content, let's make body texts a bit smaller and nudge them upward. To tweak the icon, simply right-click on it and use the Change Graphic menu. Search for the new icon and double-click on it. Edit the third icon. Enjoying the show? Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to be part of our growing movement. Now we've got a nice static slide. It's time to transform it into a dynamic sequence. A few words why this is a great idea. Motion creates tension that stimulates your viewers to be alert and attentive. Pair that with bite-sized pieces of content that are easy to process and you'll create engaging and memorable presentations that act like an attention trap. They simply can't resist following your lead. Let's go back to PowerPoint. To conceal the content, draw a rectangle over the first card. Next, add a down-facing arrow. I'm going to use an icon for this. Double-click on the icon to insert. Let's align it with the shape, rotate it, and make it white. Select the cover and the icon, then duplicate them and cover the second card. Next, 
cover the third card. Now let's add another rectangle to the bottom of the slide. From one side, this shape should extend to the slide's edge. And from another side, it should touch the cards. Let's set it to white to match the slide's background. Now let's duplicate the slide. Select the first cover and the icon. Pull them down, leaving only a small part of the cover visible. Duplicate this slide and do the same for the second section. Duplicate and shift the third section. Select the slides and turn on the morph transition. Set the duration to one and a quarter seconds. That's it, our sequence is ready to go. Let's take a look at the outcome. If you wanna learn Morph Inside Out, join my budget-friendly online course. Check out the link in the description and join the movement today.